and up were your choices. FIFA, Coca-Cola, StarCraft, Pokemon, and H1Z1. And we had another tie. Let's go to FIFA. Go ahead. Take it away. For your competitive FIFA fans out yet there, I know you're looking forward to the FIWC coming up in August next month. But there was a history-making event over the weekend going down in Miami, Florida, where our lovely and talented producer Lennox was. Coca-Cola, that's right, one of the beverage kings of the world, perhaps the beverage king of the world, held their second annual Ecopa Coca-Cola tournament this month, teaming up with the football club Paris Saint-Germain in order to allow one lucky winner to join the Paris Saint-Germain esports team. Not a bad thing to win. That's right, a real-life football club has a real-life esports team, which actually, welcome to 2017, because right. that happens a lot in Esports in Europe. Powered by the tournament organizer Battle or Battlefy, excuse me. Over 602 players battled it out in knockout qualifiers at the beginning of June, and from there, the field was narrowed down to just 16 players duking it out in a round robin that eventually left two players standing. Or sitting. Yeah, that's true. Those two players were brought in to compete in a live event finals that featured not only players for the PSG esports team, but also players from the real football team. Talk about uh, star power and Proper integrations, yeah? Perhaps IRL is. That's what you call marketing. I know. Oh, my goodness. Lucky fans who came out to the event were able to play against some of the PSG esports team. And sorry to say it, no one even came close to defeating PSG esports players Dax and Rafia 13. Rafifa. Rafifa 13. Chicago. Rafifa 13. <laughs> After all the previously mentioned festivities, it came down to a best of three final between the two finalists. 19-year-old Gordon WNU Fiddle. Thornsbury, oh my god, the best name ever, and 22-year-old Luigi It's Doofman Puelo. Oh, it's Doofman. These these names are godlike. In game one, Doofman, or It's Doofman, came out strong in the offensive and scored the first goal against Fiddle. Fiddle was having none of it, though, as he was able to tie it up 1-1 before the half ended, but Doofman seemed to have figured out his play style and scored two goals in the second half, bringing the score to 3-1. If you think Fiddle was going to take it laying down, you were wrong as this experience as a FIFA player shined in game two where the game ended with a score of 2-2. And we're lucky that our show didn't end thanks to our producers writing out in the script. It's very true. <laughs> we'll get to why I'm laughing in a minute. Tournament rules dictate that the next goal wins in a replay and Fiddle was ecstatic to score it in the 14th minute mark of the match. That means it all came down to, of course... Game three to determine who would join the PSG esports team. Now, after a scoreless first half, Doofman and Fiddle, yes, I heard those correctly, kept each other on their toes until the 84th minute of the match, roughly six minutes away. And here is a clip of this exact situation going down. We see a steal, a, a ball steal coming. Oh, it's, up like, there. it's like I realized how bad my eyes are when I'm over here doing this. Oh! Oh, that is how we goal. That in the face action though. Took like, away from Doofman and the goalkeeper didn't even see it coming. Scored his way into his Matching the names to the faces is also a great thing too. Mm -hmm. That's so much fun. So congrats to Gordon Fiddle Thornsbury on winning the tournament from a field of over 600 competitors. And we wish him the best with his new esports team. Paris Saint Germain. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we see a lot more integrations between real life sports and virtual sports as competitive gaming and esports gain more acceptance in the mainstream. Or we could just keep doing what we're doing and enjoy that scene that we have right now. Either works. Let's catch the VOD of the tournament on Mixer.com. <laughs> Whack e Copa to relive the event, and we hope to see you join more tournaments in the future. Yes, I am getting nods of approval across the room. We are good.